this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn about snapshots, which allows us to create multiple versions of the same image so that we compare uh, before and after. Now, this won't allow us to just do one before and an after. It'll just allow us to do a whole bunch of, you know, for example, six different versions of the same file. You can click through which one you like the best and save that one. So I'll show you how we do this right now. And I'll show you with this image here and with the example of actually uh, cropping an image. So I'm going to actually be cropping here with a rectangle, a rectangular marquee tool here. This is just my personal choice here. And um, just a brief over here, over here of how we actually get to the whole snapshot thing. Well, we got this, uh, the snapshot is tied into the history. It's a, it's a different uh, state of histories. So we're going to go into our history palette here. Uh, if you don't have that open here, we just go to Window and History to bring that up. And uh, as you can see here, by default, Photoshop will automatically create a snapshot of the image as you open it. So here we have a snapshot here. It says snapshots.jpg, which is the name of this file. Uh, this is actually a snapshot here. So if we ever needed to go back to original image, all we have to do is click here. And uh, to create different snapshots over our image, all we need to do is this uh, icon here at the bottom here that will say create new snapshot. Now, uh, what this allows us to do is save different states of history, right, of the history state as the image is. So for example, this is our original image, and I want to try out different different uh, crops to see which one works the best for this image. So I'll create here a square crop, for example, using the shift and uh, click and drag. I'm going to go ahead and image and crop. Okay. And I'm going to bring up our history palette here. We've done these things here to this image. I've uh, cropped it. And I'm going to create here the uh, new snapshot. And I can double click to rename it. By default, it'll just be snapshot one, two, three, and four, and so forth. I'm going to double click here in the name and uh, name this as square, for example. So we have our square crop. Now I can go back here to the original one. Remember, this is the uh, as we open the image. So there we are, the original one. And I'm just going to close this here. And I create a different crop here. I'm going to create a crop uh, that is just the people here and uh, without the dog. So it's just a uh, just the people. So I'm going to go ahead and image and crop. Deselect here. And I am, again, going to go ahead and create a new snapshot. This one I'm just going to rename as uh, people. And as you can see here, we have our original one, the square one, and the just people one, for example. So uh, this is, as I'm, I'm hoping this is actually starting to actually bring up some ideas uh, in you, is that you can actually create multiple, multiple versions of an image, right? And, com and completely compare uh, so that you can actually see, you know, if you like uh, an image uh, a certain way better, than before. Uh, for example, in the in the way that we're actually using crops here, um, there's no way to actually compare uh, crops uh, essentially side by side or switch between crops uh, unless we uh, cropped our image and then saved that crop and then went back and uh, we're going to name this here differently. Um, more of a uh, a wider angle here. So here we have the square. The people one and the wide, the original. So as you can see, you can compare all these things, and the only way you'd be able to actually be able to do this uh, without the the, uh, the snapshots is to actually, you know, like as I was saying, just uh, save different versions of that, and have them all open in your monitor, and compare which one you like the best. In this way, you can compare them right there and then without actually having to do much at all uh, in the way of actually doing all these savings and so forth. The only caveat in, uh, as with everything in the history uh, palette is that whatever you do doesn't actually get saved if you uh, close the image down, right? So as you're probably familiar here with the history palette, all these things here, you can save the image. It's perfectly fine. As you open it up, uh, it, you won't be able to undo. You won't be able to go back into your history states because that doesn't get saved, right? History is very temporary. In the same way your snapshots are, right? So what you actually have to do is select uh, what version, for example, of these crops I like the most. Let's say I like the square one. Then I can save the image the next time I open it. The only history state that will be will be the square one. And uh, and that's it. We would have essentially lost different uh, 
uh, snapshots that we had here. It's a very temporary thing, but like I said, it's very good to just compare uh, different things. Or when you're going to embark into something that's a little bit more complicated, that would actually involve using up all your history states. If you're going to, you know, do a lot of changes, for example, if you're going to remove the dog here and change hair colors and do a whole bunch of things, but you're not too sure if that's what you really want. You just want to see what that looks like, but be able to go back in and, um, you know, to a certain point in your image, that's when it's really useful to create a, a snapshot of your image as it stands before you embark on doing these changes. Do the change, save, save that snapshot, and then compare before and after, right? So it's a very good way to actually be comparing things, make that choice, and then save your image. But always remember it's temporary and you won't be able to save all these states unless you go back in and save the image in this one here and save it again in this one, save it, and so forth. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.